Hi, it's Jennifer with Jennifer at Home, and I'm super happy and super grateful you're here to join me today. Just as promised, we're going to be cleaning out, organizing, and decluttering this big linen closet right behind me. It's completely full, and I can't wait to get started. I wasn't really sure that I wanted to show everything in this linen closet to everybody out there on YouTube, but then I remembered. My ultimate goal here is to help and inspire others to get their spaces clean and organized as well. So let's get started. The time has finally come to get this bathroom cabinet organized. We go to the store with coupons and we buy our products and we just bring them home and put them into the cabinet. We have so many different things in here and it is just really, really full. So today I'm gonna to empty everything out and see what I can do to quickly organize and get this closet in order. Taking out all of the things that are expired or old or things I just don't use. It's time to let them go and get this closet in perfect order. Some of the things I have in this closet are working really well. I have curling iron and hair dryer. I got these really nice baskets a while back at the Dollar Tree. And I labeled them and then I put them on risers that I already had. They work great, but it's time to clear them out and discard all the expired items and all the things that are out of date or things we don't need or don't use. So we'll start with shelf number one. Any of the items that are expired can easily be taken to your local pharmacy. Just take them to your local pharmacy if you have very many and they'll be able to discard all of those things for you. The first shelf is done. I've taken out all of the expired medications and organized everything neatly. And this tote over here, I have some ACE bandages and larger band-aids in case we ever need them. I'm hoping we'll never need them, but just in case we do, we'll have them handy. Now let's move on to shelf number two. Here are the items from shelf number two. I have these clear plastic organizers that I already had. And I'm going to put these over in the corner as well as one that I had in this shelf. And I'll use this to put all of the shampoo bottles and deodorants. I went ahead and moved out everything from shelf number three. So now I can go through everything and put it all back in order. I'm going to set aside the things that I'm not sure about and the things that I want to throw away. This is the perfect time to do that. So here's shelf number three all cleared out and I kept the products here that I know I really love and enjoy. It seems like it'll be some time before I need to buy any more of these lotions. In these acrylic drawers, I'm gonna put in the makeup that I have that's new and I'm gonna take out and throw away the old items and only the things in this acrylic drawer will be brand new items that I'll be using once I've used up all of my old products. I put the acrylic box up on a riser so that way I can put things underneath it. If I put it in the back of the cabinet, the cabinet is too deep and I wouldn't be able to open the drawers. This way I'll easily be able to ac access everything inside the cabinet. In this acrylic box, I'm gonna put all sorts of new makeup items that I'm gonna use once I finish what I have already been using. This box of new makeup items will sit right on top the acrylic box of makeup items that I have that are all brand new. To make your containers more attractive, you can use a duct tape such as this leopard print duct tape and wrap it all around the container. This way you don't have an unattractive label or you can do what I did here and put washi tape over the label in pink patterns with green. It looks so much cuter. Now it's time for me to go through all my lipsticks, lip glosses, 
and clear out everything, fingernail polishes, things that are old that I don't use, or that the colors just aren't right. It's time to go through these things once and for all. I have put this off for far too long. I keep all of my makeup in this little bin and then I put it in and out of the cabinet as I need it on a daily basis. I set it on the bathroom vanity, I use what I need, and then I put it right back in on the shelf. At this time, I decided to take out and clear out all of the old makeup. I've already replaced the makeup poofs and the makeup brushes and cleaned the ones that I wanted to keep. I've gone through and thrown out any makeup that's older and replaced it with new. It doesn't have to be used up to know that it's time to be replaced. After a certain amount of time, it's always good to take out and discard all of the old products and replace them, even if they aren't completely used. And here's how everything looks in my makeup box. These are the only products I need to use on a daily basis. Everything is clean and new. Let's take a look at how this closet turned out. I have items on the top shelf that I don't need to access very often. Then on the next shelf down, I have my hair products on the left hand side. Deodorants, my husband's shampoos, a body wash, some healthcare items in the middle. Over on this side, I have hair clips and barrettes. I have some little travel size powders that I like to take on trips, some makeup remover, some more health and beauty products. And then I have my makeup in this acrylic bin. These are products that are all new and some other new makeup items in the top of that bin as well. On the next shelf down, I have my favorite lotions and spray tan products. In the middle, I have health products. These are beauty products, some lotions and moisturizers, hair products that I'm gonna use. I will see, I've never tried these before, so I will see how I like these and whether or not I wanna replace them. In the middle, I have some cotton balls. I put my cotton balls in a pretty glass jar and it's very convenient. Then I have my little makeup band that I take to and from the cabinet to put on my bathroom vanity while I put my makeup on. I have my lip products in the very back, some extra brand new hair clips, little lotion and some fingernail polishes and fingernail polish removers and files. On the next shelf down, I have some extra toothbrushes the extra supply bin is for extra toothbrushes and toothpaste. Then I have some little drawers there for dental floss and razors and bandages. I have some extra hair supplies in that bin and it is also a travel bin with small products for traveling. I have cotton swabs in this bin on the end as well as some wet wipes that we like to use when we're cleaning our shoes. Some makeup Q-tips and my hairbrush and comb. Let's see how everything looks. In the very bottom of the closet, I have some extra toilet tissue and some cleaning supplies that I'll be using up over the next few months. I am so happy with the way that this closet turned out. It was a terrible cluttered mess. And now I can quickly and easily find things and I won't buy an excess because I know exactly how many things I have and just what I need to replace when I really run out. If I try some of these items and realize they're just not suitable or I don't enjoy them at all, then I'll discard those items and not keep them stored in my closet. I have such a very large 
bag of items to throw away. I can't believe how many items I had in this closet that really needed to be thrown away and discarded. And they were just taking up valuable space and cluttering my closet. I really hope that this video has helped it to inspire you to get into your bathroom and into your cabinets and closets and go through and organize and take out things that you don't really want and don't need and things that are taking up valuable space. I feel so much happier and so much better about my space now that it's completely clean and organized. Once I use these products, I'll only buy the things I need when I go to replace them. I would be so happy to know if this video has helped and inspired you in some way. I really hope that you'll take on a project in your home as well, big or small. I put this project off far too long and I'm thrilled that it's all complete. I couldn't be happier and I wish I would have done it much sooner. I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and click the bell and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. And I hope to see you next time.